In this video, I'm going to review how I made the window insert for my 2007 H3. The first thing I did was cut out a cardboard template of the window and I'm going to use that to draw my line. Now that my line is drawn, I'm ready to cut out the insert. Okay, now that it's cut out, I'm going to file down the edges. Alright, it seems to fit in there okay. Now it's time to mark where I want to drill my hole so I can attach my gear. As for the gear attachments, all I did was sew some vinyl together to hold what I want to carry on the insert. And I'm no seamstress by any means. I'm just eyeballing everything, I've hemmed it and sewed it all together. Now at this point, all I'm doing is pulling the nails and marking the holes with a sharpie. Once that's done, I'm ready to start drilling my holes. I'm going to start with the 8 inch drill bit and then countersink all the holes with the 3 quarter inch drill bit. It's important to countersink the holes on both sides, especially the side that faces the window. The last thing you want are the bolts on the window side bouncing off the glass. Okay. Now that the holes are finished, I want to sand down both sides just to make sure all surfaces are nice and smooth. At this point, I'm ready to cover the insert with vinyl. I'm also going to use this grip liner around the outer edges as a little extra hole and protection for my truck. Now that everything's cut out, I'm ready to start stapling the edges. And for this, all I'm doing is folding the vinyl over the edge and laying the grip liner over the top. I'm using 5 16ths and 8 mm staple to staple it on the outer edges. As you can see, I'm leaving enough overhang on the other side to ensure I can pull the vinyl tight around the insert. I'm also using a hammer to tap the staples in to ensure they're all the way in the wood. I'm also doing this to ensure the staples are all recessed in the vinyl so they won't scratch up the interior of the truck around the window. I'm going to repeat this process all the way around the insert, making sure I pull the vinyl tight on each side. I also want to be sure I'm pulling the vinyl tight around the corners to ensure the vinyl is smooth and wrinkle free. Okay, now that the vinyl is secured to the wood, I can trim off the excess vinyl. At this point, I'm going to punch a hole through the vinyl for each one of the screws that will secure my gear. I'm doing this on both sides to ensure the hole in the vinyl is large enough that the screws won't grip and twist the vinyl as I tighten them. I'm using a number 6 machine screw with a number 6 flat washer to secure the attachments. Once the attachments are lined up where I want them, I'm going to punch a hole through the attachment and secure them with the screw, making sure I use a washer on both sides of the insert. Okay, now that I have all the attachments on the insert, it's time to cut and grind down the screws that are sticking out of the back. I also want to make sure all the screws are ground down to the point where they're all reset into the wood so they're not bouncing off the window. I'm also going to end up painting the window side of the insert and then I'll be using a flex seal spray just to add some extra protection for my window. Now before I paint it, I want to mark where I'll put the velcro which will secure the insert to the window. I'm doing this so I'll have a smooth surface to stick the Velcro to. Then I'll take the edges and I'm ready to paint. After the paint is dry, I'm ready to add the coat of Flex Seal. Like I said, I'm just using the Flex Seal to protect the window. Alright, now that everything is dry, we can add the Velcro around the top and the sides of the insert. If 
I decided to, I could pull the Velcro from the window, scrape it, clean it, and leave no damage to the truck. Now that the Velcro is on the insert, I'm going to take the other side of the Velcro, place it lightly over the top. Then I'm going to place the insert in the window so the Velcro will line up appropriately. After the Velcro is lined up, I want to make sure it's fully adhered to the window. Then I want to give it another 48 hours for the glue on the window side to fully dry. Once that's done, I'm done. I now have two gear pouches, straps to hold my folding saw, pouches to hold two flash drives which hold movies for my 7 inch tablet, a backtrack GPS and two two-way radios. It's extremely secure and sits in the blind spot so it can stay in the vehicle while I'm driving. And that's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.